Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. Glad to be back in the studio. I have a. Do you have anything? Because I have something that I really... go ahead. And this is you're gonna go see how I feel, but I'm gonna go ahead and say, yes, I do. I feel like yesterday was probably the first day that I have been mentally, because you know me, I'm not very mental, mentally. Oh, you're mental. <laughs> overwhelmed with stuff I had to remember to get done. The electricity, get the freezers in, uh, talk to the fire marshal, uh, be sure Gerald's coming at 8, Colin wants to work out at 9, Stephanie wants to get up early to do it because she's got starting a new job. I don't usually have that much on my plate. I have two things usually. Working out and Red Sea. Are you, would you agree? Mm -hmm. Do you get that way and do other people get that way? And how do you, because I didn't get frustrated. I just felt like I was missing something. If I, <clears throat> Does it make sense? I have it all the time. I know. You have more than me. That's what like I'm saying. This, this morning I woke up and uh, she didn't have to be at work till 9 because she's got to close today. So I got out of bed about 7.30, took my time, you know, showered. We had some biscuits and so, uh, bacon left over from Sunday. So I heated us up one apiece, made our fiber drink. Then I got on the computer, I transferred our stub wire over, I transferred our PayPal over, I wrote checks from each of those and put in my deal. I brought Leslie Long's video where I can give the Hulk today at lunch to where he can transfer his wedding video from Mac to Windows. I have all the songs for my wedding to give to Brian. And we finished our our itinerary. I had two more songs to put it on and I put it on this morning and sent it back to uh, Jennifer Veer over at Action where she would have it. And then I got a quick kiss and was here at 8.30. <clears throat> So already this morning, I'm saying you you do a lot more than just that. Let's just take her out of the picture. Take t take already married out of the picture. You still do the banners. What's going on with the backyard? Something's wrong. You still got to help with Red Sea. You still got to do your uh, take take the wedding stuff because that that will stop after. Yeah. How do you manage that? Without getting flustered. Uh, That's where I want to go. I am pretty patient unless it's something minor. Like can't find a TV remote. I'm, I'm not going to, I can't really disagree with that one. Or, you know, like that pen back in the day when I was clicking it. I couldn't hear it, but you could hear it. <laughs> you know, little things uh. try my patience. Everything else, I usually am pretty calm and get it all done but i am not i am not i am not unless it comes to working out a procrastinator <laughs> i get my stuff done i'm not i totally agree with 100 percent. i want to knock it out get it i don't know if i could work at a job that was eight to five that i had to feel i had to make them think i was busy from eight to five I, that, I'm, there's I'm, no way i could do that i'm with you there i got no problem doing exactly what you said hey we got the freezers at seven it just went. We got the freezer at seven. Here comes the fire marshal. Here comes dealing with that property. Here comes that. And I'm I get like, I'm with you. I can work. I got no problem working. But then I I'm like, dang, did I call that? Did he is he gonna call me back? Do I need to call him? And you I still had time there? to take your picture of you working. I did. And I well See, that's good. That's time management. Time management at that point, I wasn't even moving that box, by the way. <laughs> I just wanted to pick it up. That was the lightest box there, but you did. <laughs> but you did pick up a lot of heavy stuff yesterday. And it actually went in a little easier. We yeah. bought two new beer coolers. Uh, if you watched yesterday's show, you know. Yeah, we bought two new beer coolers. Just, you know. Do you? Warm beer's not good. I want these people to know, and I, I'm going to pull up my lunch special because you sent it to me. I yeah. want to know how do you people manage stuff like that because he knows for a fact I got mine back with soccer and kids and school plays and all that stuff. Okay. That's, that's more or less when I got mine. 
before then, when we traveled on the road, we got up when we wanted. Yeah. We called the customer and and got there and knocked it out. I knocked an eight-hour job out in three hours, and then we had all this free time. But until kids got into sports and got into school, and had so many of them that you had to you had to, you had to calm down and breathe and go. You okay. had to manage. And that's what, and so and so. that's what I want to know from you guys is how do you manage your time? Because I am the guy, Chris is the guy for us that will put everything on his plate. I am the guy that will only put things I enjoy on my plate. Would you agree? Yes. So when Chris hands me this other thing, I go, oh, is that is that vegetables? Because I don't eat vegetables. He went, just eat it today. So I need Well, we had help. a meeting at the bank yesterday, too, at 2 o'clock. And we had a meeting at the bank. You know. Oh. And so I, I get it. I get it. Uh, I will say this from when did Hope join us? 2010 is when he came in. He started right. So Cowboy about 2011, I had my last meltdown. Yes, sir. I tried to throw a chair at you. Yes, sir. Chair broke, all that stuff. Yep. And it was because I would pile my plate full. And by the time I was, I was puking because I had so much on my plate. So I have now went. Okay, I don't have to do that. Yes, which, which helps. Oh, it, tremendously because which helps. once you once you get overwhelmed, yeah, you're useless. You are, and I I felt that way yesterday. I felt that way of, God, I just got too much crap. You know, people come in and want to talk to you. I can't have time to talk. I gotta. I'm trying to. So, I, I've seen you that way on set. When we're trying to get from one location to another, or an actor's late, or whatever, I see. I've seen you get to that flustered, frust, that flustered way, but I didn't see it yesterday. But when you got home, you probably went. Oh, I got home. I didn't do nothing. Yeah, I got home and sat in a chair and watched the girls' softball game. So my <laughs> lesson that I learned in life is I'm not going to go down there and do that work. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, tell us how you do your time management or how do you deal with getting overwhelmed? That's kind of what I want to know. Uh, barbecue chicken sandwich with fries today. Barbecue chicken sandwich Sounds with good. fries. Sounds it's going to be good. $7. Do you want to talk about them before we leave? Because we got a big game coming up Wednesday. The Shark Tank. Now, the Shark Tank, half of them's on hiatus. One of them's in Costa Rica. Oh. Uh, I don't think he's hiding out. I don't think so. But. Okay. Follow them on Twitter, the the Sharp Tank, the Sharp Tank. They give picks every day. Uh, that's and, all I got to say. And whatever they give you, pick the other, you're a guaranteed winner. Would you agree? It happens sometimes. It does happen. But when it comes, it's all about playing the percentages and something like that. And normally they play the percentage and will hook you up and get you paid. There you go. That they was, will get you paid. That was awesome. Until tomorrow, I am Russ. This is Chris. We are 